Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and welcome to this course. Below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and can leave your valuable feedbacks to me. I would be really happy to create a few more courses for you. If you wish that what type of courses do you are require with me, you can simply drop that too. Now in this video, we will talk about no code injection. Now names might be different, different, different for every kind of SQL injection, but really you should understand the basic core concepts behind everything. And we will take enough lessons so that you can understand what SQL injection is, how you can learn more about it and everything since it's a master course. So let us proceed with our SQL injection. And now what you need for this lesson is actually the lesson to zip file. Now, if you're taking a course on some platform base, uh, you have purchased it from some platform, then this file will be in your attachment. And if you have purchased this course directly from me from somewhere, uh, you can actually ask for this zip file from me as well. Just drop your email to my email ID that is hitesh at the rate hiteshchaudhary.com. You can simply leave your uh, qu query here that, hey, we want a lesson to zip file. But definitely you might be on some good platform. You have purchased it from there and this file will be in the attachments. Okay, so what you have to do with this file, first of all, let us travel to our desktop since this file is on desktop. Here it is, lesson2.zip. What you have to do, you have to move this file uh, that is lesson2.zip into slash war slash www in the master folder. Let me also travel to this slash war www and master. If I do a quick ls, the zip file is here. I want to unzip this file that is lesson2.zip. Once I do a unzip, now what can I do? Make sure that your service of Apache Apache 2 is running. You can check a status by doing a status and oops, a little typo. So it's already running and you can also similarly check the status of your MySQL or simply let's do a start MySQL. In case we don't fall into any trouble, let me run my Firefox. Okay, so my Firefox is running. Now what can I do simply here? I can simply write localhost and previously we were in the lesson one. We have already done that and make sure you practice on that as well because we will be applying the things what we have learned so far in the lesson one. Let us move on to the lesson two. You'll find again a sonic image here. The image is going to change and you have to uh, actually bother about this image. This is really annoying and you have to clear the lesson very quickly. That's the only way you can get rid of this image. Previously, I was trying to write a book on this uh, SQL injection master course, but really writing in 300 pages, reviewing it, editing it, and again, student reading out all these pages is really boresome. Okay, uh, separate talks apart. Question mark, ID equals to one. Okay, some we are getting ID equals to two. Okay, ID equals to three. Okay. ID equals to four, guru, guru two, and if I do ID five, thing and a noun. Okay, now what we learned so far is how to enumerate. We first give uh, random numbers, then some random mixed with alphabetics, then some huge numbers, and then some special character in order to break the query. Now that's our only motive behind testing this application. Now what we learned so far that if we apply a single code, then the query get broke up and here it is it is getting broke now what do i have again see that we have to actually join this query again in order to make sure that whatever the things are between here in this space we can actually put our injection commands that's the goal here now let us if single quote is breaking out this query and if we apply a hyphen hyphen plus sign here does that fix the query? No, it doesn't fix. Let me remove the plus sign. It doesn't again fix. If I apply a pound sign, that is not going to fix, but I have to give a equivalent that is a person 23. That is a hash sign equivalent for URL. It is not fixing. If I give a hyphen hyphen 
percent 20 that is not oxlow fixing now that might be really a troublesome because if you are not going to fix this query what will happen actually if you do a order by one okay it's not working again an error order by let's say a very big number it's again going to give you an error now because you are not proceeding in a structural manner that you are not breaking the query then fixing the query now what is the best way to get out how to fix that query my recommendation would be in this case would be a backslash so as soon as you give a backslash you find that in the previous lesson if you notice down if you give a backslash let us let me show you that it shows that there is a single quote after the backslash and if similarly I proceed on to the lesson 2 I notice that there is nothing after the backslash so that means we got nothing to fix so what we can do I can apply a hyphen hyphen plus sign okay the query is fixed so what I can do after that I can put an order by let's say 1 it's working because we are nothing getting output order by 4 unknown column in order 4 order by 3 okay so we have got fixed it now also what I can do I can write union all statement that is union all select 1 2 3 no output if you remember from the last video we have to put a minus sign here or you can make a number that is not out there in the database like uh, 55555 very big number or uh, likewise I hope you got my point this 2 and 3 are the number just being displayed out here we have watched that in the last movie that we can also replace this 3 by 9 and we are getting that so that's the same thing now what you can do you can get a current user from here that is current underscore user and its root at the rate localhost you can play it around with the database name that is database as a function yes it's the database name what you can do else here you can find out the table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore schema equals to I can put a database here or you can write security in two single quotes as well make sure at the end there is a hyphen hyphen plus statement to make the rest of the queries on the right hand side as to be a comment statement okay we have got emails now what you can do simply if you remember you can write group underscore concat and this is a function and you have to pass some arguments in it and argument can be table underscore name so we have got everything so this was the challenge number two or you can say lesson number two that we have studied now I'll be leaving a few things on you find out the column name in this chapter now that's a pretty easy thing you have to just replace table instead of table you have to write column and at the end you have to put table underscore name equals to let's say emails or users now that's a pretty simple exercise I would like you to do now in every chapter I'll be doing the less stuff and I'll be teaching you the key concepts behind the breaking the queries joining and what can be the twist which is happening around I don't really want you to go with the step by step by step procedure again and again and want to make you out bored here instead I want you to teach the inner concepts about the SQL injections so I have got pretty much clear with this no quotes injection and really one more thing I would really like to see you uh, in order you want to elaborate more of the things uh, what you can do will do a quick LS move into the lesson number two and find out how this was not actually taking even a one quote in order to find out that go to index.php and read out the source code now that's the best where best part about this series you can actually analyze each and every source code in order to find out what are the mistakes how we are actually able to broken source code is really really important and if you notice out here in somewhere you will find that here it is here is our SQL query select star from users where ID is equals to ID now this variable is not being encoded by its any quotes or anything and in case if you find out uh, you actually notice the previous index file which was in the lesson one there was a different syntax find out that and really keep analyzing the source code that's the best way in order to get a get a lots of thing out of it 
So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.